Hello guys and welcome to today's episode. In this video we will solve the problem Insomnia Cure. As always, I will start with reading the problem to you. One dragon, two dragon, three dragon. The princess was counting. She had trouble falling asleep and she got bored of counting lambs when she was nine. However, just counting dragons was boring as well. So she entertained herself at best she could. Tonight she imagined that all the dragons were here to steal her and she was finding them off. Every cave dragon got punched in the face with a frying pan. Every elf dragon got his tail shut into the balcony door. Every nth dragon got his paws trampled with sharp heels. Finally, she threatened every nth dragon to call her mom and he withdrew in panic. How many imaginary dragons suffered moral or physical damage tonight if the princess counted a total of d dragons? Input. Input data contains integer numbers k, l, m, n and d, each number in a separate line, with k, l, m, n between 1 and 10 and d between 1 and 10 to the power of 5. Output. Output the number of damaged dragons. So this is our problem. When I read every kth, mth, lth, nth dragon, I always think about the modulo function. Because with a modulo function, you can find out um, if this number is dividable without any rest. So if it's the, for example, third dragon. This function we will use there. Um, we have one special case because we will have some doubles in here. So we would have, for example, if we think about k being 2 and l being 3, then when we have the sixth dragon, we would have a double. So we would have a dragon that suffers from k, so suffers from punch, get punched in the face, and from l, so um, shut the tail in the balcony door. Therefore, we will go from the uh, other side, so we will see how many dragons got out of this horrible night without any damage. Let's start with writing our test case for that. We will start as always with the structure of our function we'll use later on. So our function will be normal function that takes the values k, l, m, n, m, n, and d. And at the moment we will just return false. Okay, now our test function. There we just have an assert and we assert that 12 is the solution when we invoke our function with the values 1, 2, 3, 4, and 12. And our second test example there we assert that our result is 17 when we invoke the function with 2, 3, 4, 5 and 24. Let's open our command line and check if PyTest is working. So as you can see, I'm in my virtual environment and I will just PyTest main and we should get two failures. Okay, this is good. Um, PyTest is working, but we don't have the results we need. So we go for implementing the function. So what we'll do here, um, let me open this, we will go through every dragon and see if he got damaged this night. That means we need a um, for loop for i in range starting with 1 and going up to d plus 1 because we want to be d integrated and in a for loop with range d is not integrated. Okay, that means we go from 1 to d. 
for every i we now check if i modulo k is not equal to zero so that means if the dragon didn't got uh, punched in the face and i modulo l is not equal to zero that means uh, we check if he got his tail shot in the balcony down then we check and i modulo m not equal to zero and i modulo n not equal to zero that means we check if any of these dragons suffered from um, physical or moral damage this night and if not then we now need counter that we can increase so we call this counter healthy and at the beginning we set it to zero now if the dragon didn't suffer from any physical or moral damage we increase healthy by one and we will then return d minus healthy that means all dragons uh, minus healthy is equal to the dragons that got uh, damage let's check this with pytest test and then we will look back at the curly underlining here and we see they have passed so our implementation is correct for these two cases before we go for submitting this code let's look in here um, and see what the plugin sorcery shows us here um, sorcery is a tool that helps to increase the quality of your code and helps to refactor your code and uh, sorcery things that we should convert for loop into a call to sum, so a sum comprehension. Let's look at it. Um, he uses healthy sum of one, so we add always one, go through the for loop and do our check in here. Um, and it looks more a Pythonic way. So let's change this. And we now have a pretty nice function let's take this and submit it i copy it i go to submit of course we have to change a few things first of all we need to read in our uh, inputs so case input we read in our input and transform it to an integer. We have to do this for all our values. And now we have to change one thing. This is print D minus healthy. And I think this should be it. Let's try to submit it. There we are. And the solution was accepted. Okay, let's go back to the code and see what we have learned today. I think the sum function, what sorcery showed us, how we can improve our code is important. Everything else I think is pretty straightforward. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, I would appreciate if you give it a like. If you have any questions, any comments, just let me know in the comments below. If you don't want to miss any video of me, just subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and goodbye.